So what we're going to talk about in this video is concrete composition. So concrete's made up of two main elements. First we have aggregate, which will make up the majority of the mix. And then we also have uh, some type of binding agent. which is typically cement and water. And any type of admixture. So uh, there are two, two main types of aggregate. The first is uh, coarse or uh, fine aggregate. And fine aggregate is typically just some type of sand. And then we also have coarse aggregate. Uh, which is some type of, uh, can be like a, a crushed stone or a river gravel. And as the aggregate makes up the majority of the mix, the, ag the aggregate properties are very influential on the concrete properties overall. Uh, so we also have uh, the binding agent, and typically, as I said, uh, cement is used. Um, so, cement is made up of four main uh, components, and we can remember them using LISA. So, the L in LISA is some type of, uh, some source of lime, or calcium oxide. The I is uh, some source of iron. The S is uh, silica. And the A is alumina. So the lime we can get from limestone. The iron is uh, typically some type of mill scale or iron ore. And then both uh, silica and alumina we can get from either clay or shale. So what will happen in cement production is we'll start with these raw materials, the limestone, the mill scale, the, and the clay or the shale. Uh, these will be crushed and then heated to, uh, to combine and make um, the, what's called clinker. And then this clinker is ultimately crushed to make cement. So the process is these are crushed, heated. and then uh, crushed again. So obviously uh, all these components are very influential um, in, at, into the actual concrete properties. So we'll look into how these influence the concrete properties in later videos.